Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, the subtitle is the important part of this, planning for reality. Uh, that's, that's the message that I'm going to try and convey. A theme is that Australia will achieve a better result uh, in relation to its own environment and its contribution to the reduction of global greenhouse gas emissions if it has a strong economy. They are, they are not separate factors. But, uh, and uh, you know, countries around the world uh, that have been cleaning up at least city uh, uh, environments uh, are the other countries that have strong economies and they're able to do that. Poor countries, city environments are still in very bad shape. It's just an example. A strong economy will provide the capital that's necessary to invest in improvement of environmental infrastructure, repair of degraded environments, and a shift to alternative sources of energy that are not fossil fuel based. Now Australia at the present uh, faces capacity constraints. That's the biggest economic problem that we have. Much of the in infrastructure required to support a strong and product productive economy is in short supply in Australia at present. This includes water, transport for people, transport for goods, ports, energy supply, housing and office space, and state-of-the-art communications. All uh, in 30 years of disrepair, essentially. These shortages may be artificially reduced in the short term by increasing interest rates to slow demand. That's what we're doing now. We're trying to suppress the demand for these uh, kinds of uh, infrastructure. Uh, but we don't want to live in a continued forced recession. So higher interest rates are not a long-term solution. In the long term, the capacity constraints must be addressed. And what are the requirements for new infrastructure? New infrastructure involves technology, it involves capital, it involves good planning and commitment, and it involves labor. The technology is available now in most instances, and more and more will come online as time goes by. Capital also is in relatively good supply. The Australian government is the biggest profit-making venture in the country. It's, bigger, it's a bigger profit-making venture than BHP Billiton, which is the world's biggest mine, uh, it, uh, with its uh, huge uh, surpluses. Planning is improving. Is improving. Uh, commitment is, is stronger. And uh, I'm not here to advertise the new government, but I think they've, they've moved in a, a better direction in this regard by setting up the, uh, the Infrastructure Council, which has got a year to report back and say these are the important infrastructure projects for Australia, this is their ranking, etc. So I think planning is improving, but the problem area is shortage of labour. Why we need labour? Uh, conservation, of course, is highly desirable as far as it goes, but we shall, not, we shall only solve our water, energy and environmental problems in the long run through construction of new infrastructure. If we want solar or wind energy, then the solar panels and windmills have to be made and constructed. If we want secure urban water supplies, then whatever policy mix we decide to use, uh, this involves construction. Why we need labour again? If we want us to ease the housing crisis, we need more houses. Simple as that. If we want the economy to run productively and competitively, we need better transportation of goods, people, better ports, and better communication infrastructure. Uh, almost right across the Australian economy at the moment, workers are in short supply. And some examples, uh, it's, it's especially the, ca the case in construction industries, and we're talking about bringing in 15,000 workers from the United States to build houses, uh, as, a, as an example of that, something which is, because the US has got way too many houses, we've got way too few, U.S. housing workers are unemployed, bring them here. Uh, the mining industry is desperately seeking workers to commence new projects, and there are people talking about bringing in Chinese work gangs uh, to set up mining ventures, not to actually do the mining, <laughs> but to create uh, new ports, and so on, to build a new port, and then go off and build a new port somewhere else. Uh, that's, uh, that's being discussed. And you, you must note that revenue from mining uh, is the source of much of our public uh, capital for 
environmental and social